your kid, if you want them to be resilient, right, they have to experience failure. Mm. It's, a, it's a no, I'm sorry, mm. but they have to go through the churn. They have to experience adversity. If they do not experience adversity, then how do they ever understand what it is and the processes, the strategies that they can implement? Because this is how it's going to work. They're going to come to our school and they are going to fail, man. Mm. Stone cold guarantee, but this is how what we're going to do is going to help them out is that we're going to work out when they do fail and we're going to be there right there and then and we are not going to save them. We are not going to save them but we are going to give them some skills and strategies to implement at that moment in time to support them to get through this churn. And we're going to pump them up. We're going to give them positive reinforcement. We're going to encourage them to keep going. And they're going to keep going. And when we get into that final destination, booyah, we are going to celebrate. I'm going to look at that kid and go, you are the biggest legend going around the world, man. Did you see what happened? You got through this churn, man. Mm. You got through the churn. Now, Tell me how hard it was. And they're going to say it was bloody tough. Without doubt it was. But guess what now? You've got a, a positive outcome that has occurred that gives you a positive recollection that when you do fall in a hole again the next time, you can go back to this moment where we went through the churn and you got through. Now you believe. Our issue as parents is that we don't let the kids stuff up. I'm going to go save them. I'm going to go save them. I'm going to go save them. You don't let go. Toughest gig in the world, letting go as a parent. Mate, it's the hardest thing. Macy, my daughter, she, we went around to mum and dad's house the other day and the con you know, our concrete out the front of the house has got those little pebbles in it, you know? Mm. It's called sandpaper. It's just ripping skin yeah. right off you. Yes. <laughs> she's 16 months old and she's running down the hill. I'm going, oh my God, she's going, she's going here, she's going for sure. And I'm like, heart in my mouth. And mate, I, I live and breathe this. Yeah. And I'm there going, well, I'm going to go save her. Yeah. But I'm fighting, I'm fighting, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm just watching it. And she's going to eat tarmac. And she didn't eat tarmac. And I was like, yes. But I can guarantee you the next time it happens, she will. Were you slightly disappointed? Oh, I don't know. But like, I imagine your house where I could just be like set up with thousands of booby traps. 